Derek Sloan says he doesn't want to be just another face in the crowd. Derek Sloan's here. He's ready to rumble. And uh, he, uh, he's a no-apologies conservative. Sloan's only been in Ottawa for a short time, elected just last fall, but he's wasted no time in sticking out. Just days after announcing his intention to run for the party leadership, he suggested in a tweet that while being gay is not a choice, it's something science needs to figure out. Today, I'd like to focus my remarks on the Public Health Agency of Canada's guidance for schools. Then he questioned the patriotism of Canada's Chief Public Health Officer, Dr. Theresa Tam. Theresa Tam, uh, we sent an email out today asking, does she work for Canada or for China? Which eventually drew rebuke from the leader Sloan hopes to replace. And I believe it is, uh, it is not appropriate to question someone's loyalty to their country. I believe that is a, a very a serious uh, accusation that you have to have some uh, very substantial evidence to make. Despite being asked to apologize for those comments by some MPs in his own party, Sloan refused, a bedrock stance he carried right into the debates. Mr. Sloan, you have 60 seconds. I will never give an inch to political correctness. I won't cede an ounce of our sovereignty to international organizations. I'm the only candidate that is committed to defunding the World Health Organization and getting Canada out of the Paris Agreement. Sloan was a small business owner in southern Ontario before obtaining a law degree. He is a social conservative and believes Canada is becoming more socially conservative. But I do believe that, that new Canadians are more socially conservative. They're more traditional in their views. And I think we can speak to that in ways that are intelligible and helpful. That message has resonated with Sloan's hardcore supporters. But it's unclear whether that base of support is wide enough to propel Sloan to victory. Bashi Capellos, CBC News, Ottawa.